One does not need a degree in psychology to understand this equation. You and I go to superhero movies because we'd like to have superpowers. So in our number one story in the countdown, let's cut to the chase. Can science give them to us? And how soon, damn it? This weekend's ultra blockbuster, The Dark Knight, expected to shatter box office records. The wind beneath Batman's wings. The Joker, portrayed with reportedly menacing perfection by the late Heath Ledger. While Batman's flying prowess is man-made, as opposed to, say, Superman's, mankind is still a long way from either of these, though it is inching closer. The good old jetpack, around since the 50s, will soon boast a model with nine minutes of continuous flight time at 83 miles an hour. Wow. As for super strength, a.k.a. the Incredible Hulk, forget the steroids, take more along the lines of Iron Man, real-life exoskeletons, which can amplify strength 20 times. They're being developed for the military and Roger Clemens. <laughs> There's also the regenerative capability of some superheroes, enviable indeed, but few things fascinate us more than this. Invisibility. Scientists have made a bit of progress even with that, though they're still a universe away from Harry Potter's cloak. Let's bring in theoretical physicist and the author of Physics of the Impossible, Dr. Michio Kaku. Thank you for your time tonight, sir. A pleasure to speak with you. Glad to be on the show because there's a little bit of Clark Kent in all of us. That's, well, uh, presumably invisibility, that last one, would be the most desired superpower because uh, obviously you could use it to sneak in and steal the secrets of any other superpower. Are, where are we on, on, on invisibility? Two years ago, we physicists made an astonishing breakthrough at Duke University. Proof of principle was demonstrated in a laboratory. We can take an object and shine microwave radiation at it, which then wraps around the object, reforms at the other end, making the object inside invisible to microwave radiation. And last year at Caltech, and also in Germany, laser light was also shown to be bendable in this way. So, Harry Potter, watch <laughs> out. And look, the Pentagon is funding this research. They're not stupid. They see the enormous possibilities of a technology still decades away that can bend light around an object, making Harry Potter invisible inside. Wow. All right, now flying, translated as the jetpack, I guess you'd share this conclusion with me. That's the biggest disappointment of this whole last century. I saw a guy at a jetpack, with a jetpack, at the 1964 World's Fair, and in that time since then, we're still only up to a nine-minute ride? That's right. The Nazis were the first ones to create a usable jetpack. It worked for about 30 seconds using hydrogen peroxide, and things have been pretty much the same for 50 years. But eventually, we hope to use super magnets. Uh, if we have room temperature super magnets, one day we may be able to float on magnetism, just like we can make trains float on air today using magnetism. All right, uh, uh, super strength. What is the premise, uh, premise of the exoskeleton suit? Sounds extraordinarily intriguing. How does it roughly work? Well, you put on a skeleton of metal. Every time you move your hands, it senses the motion, magnifies it, and NASA is quite interested in this. In outer space, our astronauts have to make repairs, and of course, they're limited by the strength of their muscles. So NASA is very interested, the military is interested. You would put on literally a metal skeleton that senses all your motion and magnifies it by a factor of 20. And at the University of California at Berkeley, they've already developed a prototype Iron Man type exoskeleton. Wow. All right. Uh, X ray vision. Obviously, uh, we have access to X ray vision, but unfortunately, you have to go to work at the airport for the Transportation Security Administration, correct? We have X ray vision, just like in Superman comics. We have a light bulb that emits X rays, not just ordinary light. It illuminates a room with X rays. Mm -hmm. They bounce off the wall, they bounce off things, and they go right into a camera, which then photographs it, giving you pictures that are almost identical to the pictures that we're used to seeing in the comic books. So that's a technology that's here today. Um, regeneration, are, are, we, are we getting actually close to being able to do this now with, with stem cell and all the rest? T today, we can regenerate skin, bone, noses, cartilage, heart valves, and the bladder was grown just mm. last year. Wow. Uh, the physicist, Dr. Michio Kaku, who's uh, series 2057, I was just watching for like the fourth time the other night. Uh, great pleasure to have you on the program tonight, sir. Thank you.